Retro DOS games like Flight and Space Sims needed a good joystick back in the day, and many were produced over the years, and some were certainly better than others. Today, we will look at the original standard Sidewinder joystick, released by Microsoft at the end of 1995. Up until recently, I had this old Quickshot Warrior, but I wasn't happy with it, as it wasn't accurate or particularly ergonomic for me. So, after browsing eBay, I found this listing for the original Sidewinder, the standard analog joystick, which, as I was the only bidder, won for a whopping 99 Australian cents plus postage. Funnily enough, looking through my old magazines, I also came across an article from November of 1995 detailing how Microsoft was about to enter the software and hardware development industry and specifically mentioning this joystick and its more famous and sought after 3D Pro brother. Anyway, for 50 quid back in the day, this was Microsoft's first attempt. And to be honest, this joystick stands up pretty well for being 25 years old. Ergonomics are decent enough, not spectacular, because this was before they modeled them on real life fighter jet flight sticks. But it's still pretty sleek looking in my opinion, and the wide base helps with the horizontal stability, although I find I still use my left hand to keep it steady in the heat of battle. In particular for me, the joystick action is very smooth, which is what sets this apart from my quick shot. It feels like I can get a lot of accuracy with this stick, the throttle wheel on the left is a nice addition if the game allows its use, whilst the two axis calibration wheels on the top and right are useful for minor adjustments when in the game. This is also a, a game port controller, so it plugs into the back of my sound card. The plug itself is nice and thick, it's easy to connect and won't be confused with any other connection. So here I am playing Wings of Glory. I used to have a Gravis Blackhawk I think back in the day and I kind of hated it and found this game very hard to control. But I do feel that I am much improved with this stick, mainly due to that smooth action and it makes it slightly easier to keep on the enemy's tail with these old World War 1 flight models. TIE Fighter feels fantastic with this stick. Again, the smoothness of the joystick movement really makes this a joy and you feel the TIE Fighter is very responsive to your inputs. All in all, if you have a retro DOS computer, then this is a decent stick. It's not outstanding and not one to particularly seek out. It doesn't have a lot of buttons. It doesn't have rotation for the Z axis like the 3D Pro had. And it doesn't have force feedback. But it does have smooth movement and great DOS compatibility. And after all, this is a piece of hardware that is 25 years old at this point. So in summary, if you can find it for cheap, then it's worth picking up and giving a go. See if you like it. Now thanks all for watching, it's always really appreciated. If you enjoyed the video then drop a comment below and if you'd like to see more retro PC videos consider subscribing and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. See you later.